hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be talking about terraform so in our previous video we discussed what is terraform how to integrate terraform with aws and how to create new aws ec2 instances using terraform i will be leaving the link to that video in the description box so you can go through that video as well what is terraform terraform is an infrastructure as a code tool that lets you build change and version cloud and on-premises resources safely and efficiently so today we will be looking into how you can integrate terraform and github and how you can create a new github repository by using a terraform so this is my github page so let's say there is one repository aws projects and we want a new repository to be created with the help of uh, terraform automatically so we will just declare the code and we will ask the terraform to create the repository for us and it should create a new repository so let me show how you can create a new repository um, without using terraform so let's say we go over here and we click on new button and we create a repository let's say terraform repository terraform repo one and let's say we create a public repository and we just click on create repository so this is how we manually create a repository but however we want the repository to be created by terraform so we will look into that code and how you can do that so in our previous video we discussed that when terraform interacts with any of its provider it has to authenticate and authorize the access uh, of that particular provider so that means there has to be a way through which you can authenticate yourself that you have access to the github repository or to the github uh, account to on in which i want to create the new repo so i should have access to this particular account in order to create a new repo in this account so terraform should have the credentials in order to access this particular account then only it will be able to create a new repository for us so that is the first point you should have the correct credentials so let's see how you can generate uh, tokens in the case of github for authenticating terraform to the github and allowing terraform to create a new repository for us by using the code by using the tf file so let's see how you can create the tokens in github so in github you can go to settings you can go to the settings of your profile and then you can go to developer settings and once you are in developer settings, you can click on this particular uh, uh, personal access token and then you can either generate fine grain tokens or you can generate tokens classic. So let's generate tokens classic for now in this and we will click on generate token, new token and let's click on this generate new token. I will be entering my password once again. okay so we have entered the password and let's create fine grain personal access tokens we will click on generate new token and once we click on generate new token you can enter the token name that you want to give let's name it as terraform github as the token name next you can select the expiration date so let's say you select seven days as the expiration date you can also give a description about the token that you are generating then there is a repository access section in this section you can select what do you want the repositories what kind of access you want to give to the person who holds this particular token to the person or to the tool that has access to this particular token so let's say i select all repositories so what it says over here this applies to all current and future repositories owned by the resource owner also includes public repositories so terraform will become a kind of resource owner and uh, now the resources uh, that terraform will be trying to create will have access that we are giving to this particular token so let's go to permission section in permission section we have repository permissions so let's say i go to administration and we have in the drop down three options no access read only read and write so i want creation of a new repository so in that case i will give read and write access to my token now all other things we are not bothered as of now so we are just going to keep it as default and we are going to click on generate token button so once we click on generate token it will create a token for us we will copy this token and we will keep it in our .tf file the code that we are going to write so i will be using vs code as editor in order to create my terraform files so let's create a new terraform file so i can click on this plus button and i can say github terraform the name of our file dot tf 
this will create the file for us and once the file is being created we will start writing the code and for writing the code i can show you from where you can uh, copy paste the code and you don't have to learn the code what has to be written so let's go back to our github terraform documentation and see how we can write the code from that uh, from that website so once you go to terraform and github uh, providers you search for it you will be landing on this page and then you can go to documentation and the, after clicking on the documentation, you will be coming to the documentation page for GitHub provider. So the GitHub provider is used to interact with GitHub repos, uh, resources. And this is the example usage with Terraform 0.13 and later. So you can copy this piece of code and you can uh, paste it on your uh, VS code, the new file that we just created. And Let's see how you can authenticate the code that you have just pasted. So let's go to authentication part. And once we go to authentication part, it says that you can authenticate uh, using OAuth tokens. Ensure that the token argument or the GitHub token environment variable is set. So we have to take the token that we just created and copied and pasted somewhere else. And inside the provider GitHub, we are going to uh, add this particular line in order to add the token to our .tf file. So let's go back and add the token to our uh, .tf file. So this is the Terraform file that we have created till now and we will be adding our GitHub token over here, the token with, that we just created on our GitHub repository. So let me copy paste the token that we just created. Now what next we want to do is we want to create a new repository by using terraform code so let's see how you can create a new repository using terraform code so that code is also mentioned on the github uh, provider documentation so you can go to github provider documentation and you can go to resources and inside resources you can find that particular code as well so we are back here so these are the resources that can be created updated or changed with the help of uh, terraform so let's see we want to create a new github repository so where is the repository that can be created so we have github underscore repository code here so it says example usage so this resource allows you to create and manage repositories within your github organization or personal account so what do we want to do we want to create a new github repository so we can make use of this particular code that is mentioned over here and we can create a new github repository so you can copy this particular code and you can paste it in your uh, tf file and uh, what is this code about so it basically says which resource will be created so resource that will be created is github underscore repository and this is the name of the resource that will be created so the new repository that github repository that we are planning to create will be given this particular name and this will be the description this will be the visibility and we are not going to consider template for now we are for the case for the sake of simplicity we are just going to create a simple github repository uh, on our uh, github account using terraform so let's copy paste this particular code and see how it works we have copy pasted the code here and in this code we have mentioned the resource that we want to create is github underscore repository and the name of that repository that we want to give is terraform repo that is the name of the repository that we want to give then we have a description of that particular repository and we have given the visibility for that particular repository so let's create a new terminal so our terminal is up and uh, once uh, we have the terminal, we can run the required Terraform commands. So I have explained in depth about the Terraform commands in my previous video. You can refer to that video as well. So the first command that we give is Terraform init in order to initialize our resources. So let's give this command Terraform init. So it will be initializing the requ uh, resources and it will be creating the required uh, Terraform plugins. It will be downloading the required provider plugins for us. So it basically downloaded the GitHub provider plugin for us so that so you can see that this is the only file that we created. All other files are created by the Terraform init command. So inside dot Terraform folder, you can see that these are the files that is being created by Terraform. And this is the provider plugin that got downloaded and it was also done by Terraform. And this plugin is relevant to the provider with which we are trying to connect. So GitHub is the provider. Similarly, AWS and Azure providers, I have shown the provider plugin and how those get downloaded in my previous video. Once this is being done, we are going to run the command terraform plan. 
in order to see what Terraform has planned for us on the basis of the TF file that we have written. So after running that Terraform plan command, let's see what happens. So it basically says that Terraform plan will create plus create, it is going to create a repository for us. And this is going to be the name of the repository. So plus resource, the resource that it is going to create is Terraform repo for us. It is a GitHub repository. So once we have seen that everything looks fine, we can run the command Terraform apply. So it will apply the changes that were shown in the plan and it will also show us the plan once again. So let's hit enter, type the command Terraform apply and hit enter. So once you do that, you can once again review. It is giving the same thing which was present in our Terraform plan command. So once you review it, you have to type that yes, you want these actions to be performed. You have to type yes over here and enter a value. And once you type yes over here, you can see now that it is actually creating the Terraform, the GitHub repository for us using the Terraform script that we just wrote. Let's go back to our GitHub account and see that whether the repository is created or not. So we will click on repositories. You can see that a new Terraform repo has been created for us. So once we click on this Terraform repo, you can see that the repository, new public repository has been created for us. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I showed you how you can create a Terraform repository, how you can create a GitHub repository using Terraform file. So I hope you liked the video. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.